Okay, what I'm going to show you today is how to, uh, how I restuff electrolytic capacitors. Uh, there's a million different ways to do it. I've been doing it this way for years and it's really easy, it's really effective and really fast. So, what you do, you just take the capacitor, take a Dremel tool or hacksaw or whatever, go around it, cut it off, clean the insides out of it, it'll have a bunch of pleated aluminum material or, or whatever in there. You just take that. It'll have a little connector on the end like this where the wire was hooked up. Just cut that off, pull the center connector out. Alright, what I've done here, just a regular uh, brand new electrolytic. Um, I take the positive lead, wrap it around a piece of 14 gauge wire, or you can use 12 gauge too, but uh, this is just a piece of 14 I had. Uh, wrap it around, give it a good solder joint, and pull it over here to the side so it's away from the negative lead and can't hit it. Uh, strip the other end to where when you slide it all the way down and it hits the the rubber down there you've got the enough conducting coming out so you can put your connector back on. So take some glue and you can use about anything you want to on this. This is just to, to hold it in place to keep it from riding up. Just put your little glue on the on the wire. Maybe put a little down in the hole too. And then, like I said, it's just going to seal that hole after you put it in there. Slide the wire through the hole. Done. Okay, you see what it looks like? The positive lead's going down through the center. Uh, the negative lead is going out to the side. Uh, if you take a three-quarter PVC coupling, that's all it is, is a regular old coupling. It costs 15 cent a quarter or something like that. I think these are 25 cent. Um, this is what we're going to join it together with. Make sure it fits before you before you do all this. But three, uh, I know on the field coat cans, the three quarters perfect. You might have to sand a little burr off the end of it, or, or sand a little burr off the end of you, inside your can, but it'll it'll fit good. All right, from there you just push it together like so. You have a very good physical connection for the ground. If you can see that, the wire's coming out, coming down on, on the outside of the can. And you just have to push the If you want to, you can put some glue around the bottom of the, uh, the bottom edge. I think I'll do that. That one's just a little bit loose. But you don't want to put it around the top, the top side because you want it to be serviceable in the future. Uh, what's going to hold this together is the, um, is the clamp. So, put it in, give it a twist, and then push it together. And you are done. Uh, when you put this in the radio, the clamp is going to give you a good secure um, contact surface on that ground. Your positive is isolated from the rest of it by the, not only the insulation on the wire, but the original insulation in there. If the original insulation is really bad and you have to take it out, you can just fill that with hot glue or wrap tape around the wire or whatever to make it fit more snugly. But, and there you have it. Um, later on, if a tech needs to replace this, that's, that glue, that not, I mean, it'll hold, but not that well on that aluminum. He can just give it a couple of twists, and uh, he's back in, and he can, he can put a new cap in it 75 years from now. See you.